Which is the hospital? Right that house right here. That was the hospital. So they took over the general yep. and made it into a hospital. Yep. What year again? 1862. 1862, that's the original house. Imagine how many people died in there. Look at that. And see where we were? Yeah. It was over there. Straight across. And they were shooting this way and they were shooting this way. That's the big valley. Over there where them telephone poles and stuff are. Yeah. That grove of trees right in front of us. Yes. That's where the cannon was that we were at. Okay. But anyway, this is this was on national TV on uh, Unsolved Mysteries. A lady, she lives in Perryville. She's a ghost hunter, and her and her friend was up here at uh, right at dusk, and they had a lantern going, and they were sitting in their chairs up there on the porch, and they they said a Confederate soldier just appeared out of the blue and just walked up to them and said, "You need to dim your light. You're going to give away our position." Shoot. And then turned around, walked away, and disappeared. There it is. Yeah, we were just over there on the other side of the hill. Excellent. Yeah, well, but there's a lot to walk around and see, you know, other than, you know, drive. Look how stumpy that water is. Yeah, look at that one. That's, that's unbelievable. I'd like to get some of the cattails. What's in there now, you think? Probably catfish and some bluegill. Maybe a dead body or two. <laughs> yeah, it could. Down in the bottom of it. You don't know what's down there, bones? Yeah, bones of horses and shit. See, hiding in them reeds and stuff. Can you imagine all that back in the day when they were fighting? Right here. Of course, this whole area was a grave site. Hundreds of dead soldiers were left on the battlefield. The Confederates who attacked the Union battle lines lost 532, 2,652 wounded, and 236 missing. For a total of 3420 of Federal or a Confederate. The Federal losses were just as staggering. The Union Army suffered 899 killed, 2,966 wounded. 433 missing for a total of 4,298. When adding the number of killed to the wounded who died later, uh, there was 2,422 2, men, 1,497 Union plus 900. The Union took a hell of a hit. 925 Confederate died as a result of the battle. While there's no way to find the exact numbers because of inaccurate casualty reports, these figures represent the most recent estimates. It said the struggle of the day before, bodies of the men and horses scattered everywhere. In the fields by the roadside, every house and barn was filled with the main and dying. Oh. Many of them were in the most horrible condition that the mind cannot conceive. Wow. Some were shot through the head, body, or limbs, other mangled by fragments of the shells. 
200 people, two, it's likely around 200 are buried in there. They just threw them right in the grave, dug up a hole and just dumped them in there. Yep, it says the Union dead were later moved to Camp Nelson, and I know where that's at, in Jasmine County, despite the soldiers and citizens' effort to mark burial sites. Scores of unmarked graves still exist around the battlefield. Okay. But there's 200 of them estimated buried in here. Okay. The mayor of Cincinnati. Yeah. Look, you take a picture of this when you get done. Yeah. I'm just shooting video, oh, Rain. Yeah, no, no, Look how beautiful are we. Oh, I know. Tell them where we at. We're in Perryville Battlefield, and I'm going to smoke one for the general. You damn right we will. So this cannon was standing there. Shooting that way. Shooting way out there in the range. And this can I'll read it to you real quick. Go ahead. Here on this ridge, the Union soldiers established a strong defensive position at the eastern edge of a 25 acre cornfield. Leonard Harris's brigade, along with William Riles' brigade, to your left, and six cannons of Peter Simon's battery awaited the Confederate attack. The troops were primed and ready, already somewhat involved in the defensive attacks of General Cheatham's Confederates. With a shout, Jones' Confederate brigade crested the hill in front of you, outnumbering the Confederate attackers. The Union troops' musket blade sheets of flames erupted from the hundreds of rifles and rapid fire at close range. Jesus. Although the Sunders tried to charge down into the valley four times, the tenacious federal infantrymen repelled the attack as the cannons blasted holes in the Confederate lines and tore them apart. They retreated. While the Union troops stifled Jones' attack, the successive attacks of John Brown and Sterling M. Woods' brigades doing so severely depleted their ammunition. Furthermore, their artillery withdrew because of lack of ammunition as well, as fears being captured by the Confederate infantry. Their cannon withdrawn and their ammunition depleted. The Union lines wavered when Woods' Confederate raid crested the hill, exchanging gunfire with the troops with more than a half hour of shooting. The Union defenders finally fell back when other Union brigades to the south withdrew. Ammunition low, Brown threatened the front and their Confederate unions at attacking to your right and left. The Union line fell back into the cornfield, using the terrain to their advantage. <clears throat> the artillery played for two hours. Oof. When they ordered to the left at the top of the ridge and commenced our fight in earnest, we were under constant fire until about sunset. When our ammunition failed, we went slowly off into the field. Our boys fell on every side of us. Nothing but a miracle saved any of us. We fought the whole brigade. As for myself, I came out with the injury, but tired and exhausted. Mm. Our regiment was drawn into line in the rear. The balls came crashing about us pretty lively. Soon we formed to the left and met the enemy face to face. Our regiment met with a great loss. I was wounded in the arm, but till ammunition had nearly run out. I wandered back to great loss. I was wounded in the arm, but not till ammunition had nearly run out. I wandered back to the hospital, and the hospital, I'll show you where it's at, is a mile and a half and laid on the ground all night. Wow. This is what somebody was saying, you know. The doctor took my arm and put some lint in it. That was Private Gilbert Dowd, 10th Wisconsin Infantry. I saw the necessity of holding my position with or without support until the right was successful or compelled to retire. And determined to do so, I was driven by the brigade and would not leave until our job was done. We were cut off by the main regiment. And the guy that was running this regiment, Colonel Leonard Harris, born in 1824 and died in 1890. 
Colonel Harris was the original colonel of the 2nd Ohio Infantry Regiment. He commanded the Union 9th Brigade centered here. He had to resign his military service because of ill health. He was elected mayor of Cincinnati in 1863. Wow. That was it. All right, let me show you around the beautiful land. That's an original cannon. It says a short range projectile with a maximum effective range of 400 yards. Watch it, guys. Okay. I'm going to stop. It said the canister is an artillery projectile that consists of a tin can packed with many, usually 30 to 50 lead iron balls when fired. The ball scattered out of the cannon's muzzle, and the blast from the canister would cut down large swaths of people. By the reunited republic that they died to save. That's great. And there's the mass grave. That's the mass grave, this whole thing. I'm just taking video right now. Let's see, oh, that's the divisions. That's the division. It's got a sign, you know, tells the story, the history. Part of it, yeah. Right, that's that's me. Look at that. Five thousand people. Yep, five thousand people died here. Right here. In eighteen sixty-two. And everybody a lot of people were buried here, right? We yep. Just, all up and down. Look at that. Yeah, they're they're buried where they fell. I mean, you know. I understand. Here. There's a lot more to it. We're just riding up here where the where the grave was. Okay. The little museum over here. Yeah, and I, yeah. I'd take you in there, but. No, it'll be another day. It'll be another day. Yeah, I would definitely love to come back here. On the day. There you go. I got video of it. Okay. We're good. We'll ride around in here. I mean, it's just wow.